I just explained the calf stretch until my video cut me off. Um, and then for rehabilitative for the ankle, it's going to be the heel stretch. So there's going to be like, okay, so there's a wall. Um, so there's, say there's a wall here. You're going to have the injured, there's my left ankle, it's injured. It's going to be in back, my front, and you're going to push it back and it kind of like push against the wall. So you're going to be stretching your entire back half. Again, this is more um, after the injury as pretty much healed. You want to, you don't want to do too much to a sprained ankle. It just takes time for a sprained ankle to heal. Um, next, preventative for the jumper's knee. Talk about quad stretch, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's going to stretch all throughout here because, again, I said the tendons or the patellar tendon isn't the only thing that's going to cause jumper's knee. It's the injury throughout the entire leg from constantly jumping for a front row hitter. And then um, rehabilitative is going to be the straight leg lift. Oh, so you're going to be leaning like this and then we'll say my left knee is injured. So this knee is going to be up and to a 45 degree angle back down. And you're going to repeat this and if it hurts too much, obviously stop. Um, you're going to repeat this 10, 20 times. And you want to do like three different reps. And you can do this a few days a week, depending on the severity of the injury. And then for shoulder, um, we talked about shoulder retraction for preventative. So it's going to be um, literally just keeping your arms straight and then retracting. I don't know if you can see it that way, but retracting. And that's preventative. Again, it's like more of like a stretch um, to help the muscles not be so tense. And then the towel stretch is the rehabilitative. So your injured, so my left shoulder is injured, is going to be, boy, can't even do this. It's going to be at the bottom. And then the non injured at the top. And you're just going to slightly pull, slightly pull. Just stretch it. And that's for rehabilitative. You want to strengthen those muscles and um, strengthen stretch and things like that to make sure that it's getting back to normal um, before you go back into practice into full range of motion. You want to get that range of motion back as best as you can. So yeah, that's it. Thank you.